ourselves on fire Our house, our dreams We were dancing on a wire Reckless, it seems We found holes in these walls We like what we saw Seems so strong until it falls The final straw hope you enjoyed that now a bit of a different video but I really enjoy watching and making and filming the non talky videos so I thought I'd do that and uh, then just do a little bit of a talk I've done over 5,000 miles in Lenny now he's had his troubles he's still got his troubles he now after having the front two rep tires replaced one of them's the original spare so it's all cracked and it isn't got the best tread and then the other one's pretty much on its 1.6 millimeter limit it's not quite there but it's very close so i'm just going to replace the rear two tires as well which is another 80 quid in total um, then it needs his gearbox oil changing and the gearbox sorting out because it's leaking and getting worse um, but i'm just going to flip and deal with that another time i'm just going to because that's a big job probably gearbox out job which I'm not doing while well, that van that you can just about see here is. Uh, one day I'd like to do some sort of rally with Sheila the Aguila, like a 20,000 mile trip in Lenny. And I want to give him a lift and everything. He suits the requirements, has to be under 1.2 litre, Lenny's a one, and under 500 quid. Lenny cost me 500 quid. Um, and then I think you can just do modifications at your own cost. So obviously I'll put new all season mud and snow rated tyres on. There'll be all season mud and snow rated tyres going on the back as well. Uh, there should be two spares. Um, I will be building a roof rack now I can weld eventually. These are my sort of plans and kit the car out like Sheila the Aguila. Take the rear seats out, properly do the conversion, make it really nice. Um, and also give him like a 30 or 40 mil lift which is a big ask for a car like this, but it's gonna be 
it will just make all the difference. But anyway, as you've seen from this video, what I've been doing is painting his bumper and repainting the bonnet. Um, and I also do the rear bumper, which I sort of showed in a few clips. But yeah, it was just, there were scuffs on there, all four corners of the bumpers and the bonnet was just lack appealed to death and it has just really smartened him up. And as you can maybe see, the two-wheel drive sticker that I put there, I saw it uh, on a little VW Passat at the Overland Show and also a van at the Overland Show. And I was like, I've got to get that for Lenny. <laughs> I'm thinking of taking these rubbing strips off the side, just make it look a bit cooler. I just want to sort of tart him up. And then in terms of the lacquer on the roof, there's a couple of bits. Um, I think I'm going to sand that back with like 4,000 grit, just the edges, and re-lacquer that like you sort of should do. Um, but the bonnet was just like the whole thing would have need re-lacquering, so I was like, I'll well, just paint it. <laughs> um, yeah, but he's looking really smart. I did put the second coat on the bumpers too soon, so they've sort of all sagged. Uh, it doesn't look the best, <laughs> but from the distance, it looks all right. Uh, just, I was impatient. Um, I might get around to doing it, but the thing is, is when I went to the Overland show is um, Lenny was fairly cleanish. He hasn't been clean, but it hadn't rained and then it tipped it down and I was just driving anywhere around, the, around me. He just got covered in mud and then I didn't get a chance to clean him because that was the day before I left. When I go to the Van Life Festival, you guys can see Lenny and he will look nice, which is what I would now want because um, he was very muddy before. Yeah. Shows a sign of adventure, I suppose. Also, one big announcement is there is now Lenny stickers, which are with black bumpers. I was sort of waiting to release the Lenny um, until I painted his bumpers black. So there is now Lenny stickers uh, available from my website, link in the description. And if you'll be at Van Life Festival, I'll also be handing them out there. There is 100 stickers gonna be printed, 100. So it's a limited edition. And once they're gone, that's it, they're gone. So make sure you get there in quick. I will be saving one for CJ, of course, because it was his old car, and I'll be definitely giving them out at Van Life Festival. So if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, drop a comment down below, and uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and hit the notifications bell, and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.